Freddy! Surprise! Dad, you're at my door. <laughs> Unannounced. No, there's a shorter way to say that. Surprise! <laughs> they are fundamentally different guys. That's what they discover. And, and they are fundamentally also really, really father-like son. We'll need like 100 to 150 episodes, I think, to really unpack that. How's Freddie and Fraser's relationship at the beginning of season one? Fraught, I, I think, would probably be a good word. Well, it starts out strained. It starts out uh, comfortably distant. They've been apart for 15 years. Freddie, tonight I am cooking you a five-star meal, and I won't take no for an answer. Would you take not now? There's a lot of recalibration that has to happen, I think, for both of them. What I do is important. It's at least as important as what you do. Okay, sure. Let's find someone who has low self-esteem and is also on fire and see which one of us they run to first. <laughs> Everyone's childhood has a huge impact on who they become as an adult, and, and Freddy's no exception. There is that in a kid who is like, you know, who has a problem he can't necessarily articulate and, and has issues that he wants to get into with his dad, but it takes a bit of you know, peeling back of the onion to get there. He loves his son. That's the biggest thing about it. He loves his son. He is a good listener. He does really care about Freddy. He's dropped the ball definitely over the course of Freddy's life. He immediately sets out to attempt to fix the issue. Thanks, Dad. There is a kind of common ground between a couple of guys. These are a couple of just guy guys. This is all starting to feel a bit passive aggressive. If you're trying to make a point, I wish you would just make it. Okay. I think the biggest thing that Freddie and Frazier have in common that they might not be totally aware of is their sense of humor. Weird, because I remember you saying you were moving to Boston so we could reconnect. You know, I hate it when people quote me to me. <laughs> Makes it so much harder to object. It's part of what made the Lilith Frazier dynamic so much fun to watch, is that while they butted heads on everything, there was mutual appreciation of the humor and the barbs that were thrown in either direction. You realize if you had simply given in to me last night instead of this morning, the three of us would not be in this hell. No. It would be the two of us in a whole different hell. <laughs> well, it's the same thing that people always used to ask, how did those two sons come from Martin? Oh, gee, I don't know. Oh, 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 the food is to die for. Niles, your country and your family are to die for. Food is to eat. And I would always say to them, I mean, well, their goal in life was to be of service, to do something good for other people. I'd say that's pretty universal. I'd say that's like a family trait that reflects right from granddad into grandson. 